yeah. chat GPT, the moment that they can start indexing the web. They're already doing it. They're doing it. And they With can plugins. start producing, you know, solid results. That's when I think Google's that, got that, some that's serious a, problems. But because that's, that's what the integration with Bing was. But but yet not fully, in my yeah. opinion, because okay. it was like a little tab at the top. Yeah, yeah listen, and, listen, it's it's not full fledged. It's not big, and I played with it a little bit. But and it, you're not it wrong. Wasn't, it wasn't that great. But that's where they're going. Yeah, you're yeah. Not, you're not wrong. You guys, we are we are in the such early stages of generative AI and a variety of other aspects of the generative AI race. We're probably going to have this conversation five more times this year. Well, exactly. Actually, I want to bring something up here. So for for business leaders. You're going to be conducting interviews to find talent, right? There's a large exodus of talent for the tech industry right now. I'm not saying everybody leaving Google, Facebook, Microsoft, blah, 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 blah is good. They might have just graduated from a good college. That yeah. could be the honest truth. But you're going to have to interview these people. If you get them on a video camera, there's a couple I, I, hold, on, I don't, no, hold on. I wanted to talk to you about this. Okay. That specific topic. Okay. We take a break. <laughs> I pull up Twitter. Aaron Ng, his, his last name is NG. I don't know if I'm annu uh, announcing it correctly. Yeah, Ng. He, yeah. He's, uh, I think he's Shadow Ghost on, on Twitter is his handle. He, guy's pretty smart. He has an, like a, a webcam screen. And if you're on an interview, he's got an app connected to it that's paired next to it. So it's like a browser and like a Chrome plugin that pairs in with, say, Google Meet. As the interviewer asks you a question, it's telling you how to answer the answer the question. So we talked about, hey, for business owners, have somebody have their webcam on. Stand back. Make sure you can see their hands. That's all out the window now. There's actually uh, quite a few what they call deceptive models that you can actually utilize on people to know what's up. Well, and a high confidence. So, so this is the other Explain side of the coin. Right. Hold, so, Curtis, I, I, hold, on. hold on. Explain hold on. this, Wally. Hold on. I, said, uh, I said the problem. Hold on. The Explain solution. this, Wally. So yeah. we're not trying to go polygraph here where, like, you've got some, you know, sensors on your sphincter that realizes that you're <laughs> clenching. Ver I mean, we're talking one to three. That's what a polygraph That's, is, I know. Yeah, like a real thing. Um, but it's it's picking up on body cues to a degree that recognizes a confidence level of, of deceitfulness. It is super interesting. There's a handful of models on Go on uh, GitHub that will literally help candidate or uh, help employers weave through the candidates that are being deceptive. 